crazy here, huh? I mean, last year was a lot, but this is another level. This is cool. It's a lot more accessible than F1. It's like a festival kind of feeling. You gotta get in here quickly. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I've never been to a Grand Prix, but I can't imagine it being any better than this. Ollie Bannon all the way. Um, yeah. How do you think he's been doing Uh Pretty well, I reckon. He's been doing well in the last few races. Like F1, he's had a great debut, so I reckon he can follow that through to F2. I hope Prema make a comeback. They've had a interesting start to the season, but I think uh, our drivers can do it for us. I get out of the way. The hype is really high all around, and uh, you know, it adds a bit of pressure, of course. Uh, but luckily, I've got the right support on my side, and at the moment, I'm able to cope with that. It was quite emotional. It was such a proud moment for me, and I'm getting goosebumps actually talking about it now. It's every kid's dream, you know, especially in the red overalls. To be able to make my, my debut at this age, um, I was very proud of what was everything I've done so far. And I think my, my family was as well, which was really sweet. But at the time, I didn't have time to think about that. I had to get on with the race and, and focus. It's like all the other drivers that pass into Prima. When you see them with the big boys in Formula One and the big paddock achieving great results, is always something that we are proud and we are happy to see that. And for sure, Oli is still part of us. He's not passing yet. Of course, we hope for him that he will go up as soon as possible in Formula 1, but still his main commitment is Formula 2. And see him in uh, just being called an hour and a half before FP3, getting into a qual in Formula 1 on Friday in Jeddah is something that uh, makes us really happy and proud. opportunity came knocking and, and there's there's no choice there it's the the answer is obvious but now I, I've got some work to do in F2 to, to catch up and it starts here in Melbourne I hope to, to start where we left off in in Jeddah, which was pole position yeah looking to, to build back on those points I'd like to be like saying mate for the car I don't know he has to use the other baloney. Oh, really? What does he need to use? The small rack. Really? Also big stuff. Yeah. Is that heavier? Is that the heavier? I, I tried it know. and I, I was like in my face. So many people watching and supporting also Formula 2. So, uh, you know, going across the, the entire world to come here and then see so many people support, it's uh, quite cool. Almost compared to Silverstone, it's very, very busy. You know, lots of fans like very close to the paddock and stuff, so it's actually quite cool. Even for the F2 drivers, can get quite busy. And the fans, yeah, I mean, since the first session, they're already here, which is quite impressive. Uh, I've only seen that twice uh, here, and I'm not biased, but in my uh, in Mexico. Although I'm British, they've outdone Silverstone here. It's really, really impressive how much support there is. Um, I know, really cool stuff the weekends. Oh, I heard that there will be around 500,000 people over the weekend, which is insane. The fans, they make the weekend, they make the racing as well. I mean, once we're in the car, we don't really see them. But once we get out, as soon as the engine go off, then of course we see them. And it's, it's super nice to have them here. Good. Meeting some uh, Austrian football players. They were showing us a bit about their sport. So the trade-off was that we'd invite them here and we'd show them around, get them on the sim, show them around the garage. So it's great to have the boys here. I don't know how they do that on the real track. It's crazy. I just got off and my shoulders are pretty sore now, and that was a that was two laps I reckon. So yeah, I couldn't imagine how they feel after however many they do. I was expecting it. I wasn't ready. No worries, mate. Welcome to Melbourne, everyone. Let's see. I I, I don't want to look an idiot. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I don't go into any weekend trying to show anything, to be honest. F2 is it's such a gamble in every session that you just try to, to maximize what you have. I mean, you get lucky, unlucky, good fortune, bad fortune all the time in F2. So you just do what you can each round. And the less chaos that you can get involved in, the better. So we'll just continue to try to do that. <laughs> I 
you get me back up. He's that a happened. Fan. He's a fan. Hey. I knew it. Look, I knew, I knew it. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, no. Thank you. No, me. But it's a signature. Why you no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> of course, he's a, you know, it's a closer step uh, to the, you know, maximum category. So obviously, it's really exciting. Uh, it's really tough because obviously. The higher you go, the, uh, the level increase, uh, especially of the drivers. So the championship is really competitive. Uh, it's not easy. So every weekend you have to take the best out of it uh, to learn the most, especially in my case, because I'm a rookie this year. So every weekend I try to learn the best. And hopefully, obviously, I want to get a good result, uh, but I cannot, you know, I don't want too much too early because obviously I'm still in the learning process. So I need to keep learning and then the result will come. Welcome back to Melbourne. Formula 2 second visit to this great city continues right now. And for the 22 in the field, this is going to be a real thrill. It's tough, it's high speed, but what a circuit awaits these talented young drivers. That's not a lap time that Behrman can set. The red flag is out, poor timing for him. Come in the wall, man. Kimi Antonelli to provisional pole. Hauga trying to spoil the party. Hauga does spoil the party to snatch away pole position. Yes, 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 come on. B2, you had pole position until the very last moment. That's actually. We had a good car this weekend also within NFP, so obviously good start to the weekend. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the races. I still have some room of improvement, of course. But I was happy, uh, to be honest, to bring home the last lap and to be on the front front row, of course. Overall, uh, really happy, obviously, to get a pole. It's been too long. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was a, a nice feeling to have that back. It was a difficult session with some red flags. Uh, I was on a good lap before the last red flag, but then, unfortunately, I couldn't finish it. So very happy to have a good lap under pressure at the end, and uh, we are in a good position for both races. This is this is so unfair. I qualified in front of Oli. Incredible. The fans go crazy, of course, for Oli mainly, but uh, it's nice to see. It's nice to see the passion. I woke up at 7 a.m. for this. Can we get all three? Yeah, oh, happy. Happy with Quali, yeah. Can't not be. It was a good lap from Dennis. He's just growing and growing. So so far, so good. I don't want to speak too much too soon, but, uh, but yeah, he's great. This is Formula 2, and the championship is about to go racing at Albert Park for just the second event in its history. It has seen an absolute festival of drama before we've even begun the racing. Underway! Good launch from third, but oh, immediate crash! Immediate crash for those in second and third. Oh. Mate, I crashed. The guy just shunted into me. Oh, it's absolutely everywhere. Antonelli in the mix there as well. Up the place goes Miney to third position. And Antonelli spins. He goes round. So it is for sure. Off the road as well is Aaron. Hauger trying to steal second position. Isaac Hajar takes the win. Vamos! Oh, yes. Woo! It's a big shame because to me today, I mean, the start was insane. I would have been P1 by turn one. So, um, so yeah, it sucks. It does a lot, but it's racing. You know, we go again tomorrow. 
happy first podium in uh, FIA Formula 2. Uh, hopefully not the last one. So The big news, penalty for our winner and Isaac Hajar losing the win. I won the race on track. Uh, I went on the podium, celebrated and then in the end I'm just losing a couple of points. I can't take away the moment uh, I had so, so yeah, it's, I'm, I'm fine with that. I didn't swear this time. <laughs> 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 of course, after what happened in qualifying, it's, it's tough to aim for the top, um, starting where I am, but with a pit stop, I think we can make a difference, so I'm confident. Yes, it was quite really disappointing, um, but the, the pace was there. I feel like uh, we were charging through the field, and uh, yeah, it's just a shame for the little mistake, which cost uh, a lot. We'll see how we can do, starting from P2, definitely a better position than yesterday, so a uh, good chance to fight for the win. Oh, off the road goes Dennis Hauger! Dennis Hauger finds the barrier! Oh. This one will count! The final corner for the French driver, who will see the chequered flag first, weaving to victory! Isaac Hadjar takes the feature down under! Come on, come on, come on! I ah, can't feel better than that, honestly. Uh, finally, that's all I have to say. Chaos. Yeah, very good race. Some, some good moves. I said at the beginning of the year that, uh, that you know, the first two rounds I will take it easier, and then there will be some more stuff for the highlights. A bad weekend made good, which is uh, really cool. And the pace has been there all weekend, so we just need to keep it going in Imola. Uh, was quite difficult to be honest. Uh, first team was actually quite good. We were able to keep up with the front runners. We'll see what we can find with the car because yeah, we need to find something to catch up with the others. Two years since I haven't been on the podium and uh, to be on the podium twice in two races is just amazing and as a race winner.